welcome to the only podcast that will open the door if someone is actually fucking asking for help. God damn. No one opened the fucking door for the chick when she was running for, like, help. And I would assume that they would because... <laughs> I, this is very distracting. I'm trying to collect my fucking thoughts. It's... I, I, I don't know, man. I, you would think that... What are you doing? <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah? You would think that someone that saw, like, in the 70s would open the door for, like you know a, a sc- yeah like nowadays i get it i get i get it right because that's a trick that that's that's actually a tactic that people use to like lure yeah, back then. other people yeah but back then like what the like why wouldn't they open the fucking door and she went to like multiple houses man jamie lee curtis would you like to jump in at any point i love her in freaky friday yeah i didn't know dude i saw she just shreds her, that guitar oh <laughs> for the record this is a double feature we're we're talking about um Halloween from the 70s and then Halloween from the 2010s. The original 1978. Yeah. And fast fast forwarding to the 2018 yeah. sequel. Okay, so this is something that I we talked about like yesterday and I wanted to get into it. Like I wanted to ask a bunch of questions about why these two? What's what, why these? Because there's so many. There's like four in between, right? Or like five? Oh, no. There's, there's like, wait, I mean How many? We can get into that. Okay. You want me to start there? Sure, yeah. Or do you why? want me to tell you why we watched the ones we watched uh, yeah. first? Okay, yeah. Why did we watch these two in particular? Because I know there's okay. more. So there is two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's, sorry, I'm gathering my thoughts. Fuck, I really fucked that up. Five. There's five uh, Halloween titled movies. Halloweenies? Yeah, like... Yep quote unquote original it, what do they call this franchise like is there like a nickname for it or is it just the uh, halloween franchise no they call it like i don't know because i know there's like a movie that's just it's, michael, it's called like michael myers right or am i just tripping isn't there just like, you like know is it what? like halloween michael myers blah 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 or something i thought that too a long time ago so is that just... i didn't look into that but like i, mean, I swear i, well, I don't I, know if I was, it's a fever dream or not but i swear no, I, remember. I saw i saw something about it like when i was because here's what i did i typed in halloween and then like other shit started popping up so then i put like hollow like the first specific. one yeah and then i just put michael myers movies and then there was one that's titled like something the i think curse of michael myers oh or something. yeah yeah no that's still so weird. i don't know like you know the way that shit's formatted on on the internet you know it's so, like not everything's always mind. clear cut okay so these movies take like three different paths and there's one like i'll explain okay but there's a halloween movie coming out on the 14th or 15th which we're hoping to cover yeah which we really want to go get and that hopefully that'll be like the to tie off october because it's like halloween the newest halloween yeah but we're doing another one in between remember and then Mm. this sequel because this the sequel that we watched connects yeah the sequel that we watched connects to the new one Okay. All of the other ones irrelevant. for the new one are irrelevant. Why are they? What happened? What? What's up with all? Is it just cash money? It's like, fucking crazy. It I don't. Everyone honestly, to... I wrote so much. I know Rob down. Zombie did one, right? Rob Zombie did two. <laughs> and there was one about witches. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got lost in the sauce, and I started like looking at everything. Now I think I wrote too much. Like I could have probably written more about the directors and shit like that. I'm sure that would have been fantastic. But yeah, I, know, um, I know a little bit about that. So. so the third one, Halloween three season of the witch, that's the one that Halloween three? fully yeah. So irrelevant. Does has nothing to do with Michael Myers. Yeah. It's an anthology series. Oh and is that what they were trying to do? An anthology. Just the whole Halloween thing was supposed cool. to be anthology. They did two and which was like connects but that one that that one doesn't right and then he did three you can imagine people like it's titled the marketing was like they didn't market it well so everyone's coming into this movie like Like what the fuck yeah they're like also wondering how he's back because of how the second one ends Mm -hmm. it's kind of like he's dead like what the fuck and then the third one comes out and michael myers isn't in it None of the actors, like they're the, some of the same actors, mm. but like completely irrelevant. And so everyone's like angry. I mean, yeah. I think they got so much backlash for that one. And they think it was a desperate attempt to just cash in money yeah. to, by tying in, by putting that in the yeah. title. But then he okay. put in the like season of the witch to try to like disconnect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this is different. But it's like, well, then why did you make the, the main title? Halloween. Yeah. Halloween three. So yeah, completely so. irrelevant. So it goes one, two, if you wanted to watch it that way. One, like in two, the way that it came, they came yeah, in. and then four, five, six, and then um, after that, there's another like path. Start back at one, two, 
and then Halloween H2O. That's the one I asked you about, yeah. Yeah. And then Halloween Resurrection. And then there's Rob Zombie's movies, who he, like, starts completely from scratch. So he made his own Halloween 1 and 2. Yeah. And then there's the 2018 one that we watched. Mm. So Which one. Like a return to form. Right. Back to the classic, then 2018, and now this new one that's coming up. So a lot, a lot going on, a lot of confusion. Yeah. See, for me, coming from someone that doesn't know anything about this franchise other than the name and the guy with the fucking uh, the classic fucking Picard, song. whatever the fuck, <laughs> Star Trek base guy, cut the mask is. It's someone yeah. off Star Trek, and then they like modified it. Um. Yeah, that's all I knew. And then when I was I was trying to look it up, right? Because I wanted like oh, more factual instead of just an interpretation. But like the deeper I got into it, the more that there was like talking Confused. about. Yeah, there was so much shit to like go through, and I was and I was I was I just thought I wasn't gonna be prepared for this. I didn't know how the fuck to tackle this because to me, this is what I saw. There's a Michael Myers two, and then there's a season of the witch, and then someone's ranting off on Reddit or something about how like Rob Zombie kill the franchise or some shit and then like you're that. like where does rob zombie come in yeah and then the you go down that, that <laughs> yeah. loophole and, and then i tell you watch the 2018 yeah because there's something coming out <laughs> in the theaters so it's very it's very confusing coming from someone that doesn't even know and then the, the fact that they don't even title them that different right it's just halloween this halloween that and it's like what what is this yeah i'm glad you clarified that because fuck is that i have a, a picture of... that i could probably show you with like arrows and stuff that <laughs> So technically, like the 2018 one that we watched, that would be like number two, right? Yeah. For us, um, and then in the original two, they make a connection, like, Ro- uh, not F- Ro- Rob Zombie, Michael Myers is like reasoning for going after um, Lori, is that they're siblings. Okay, so and in that's this a new one, it completely gets rid of that. Like throws oh. that idea in the trash. They keep so, up with their own. Okay, so we so we're on it. Like the the newest rebooted. Yeah, yeah. So version. the like OG minus the Halloween three, um, follows this like relative bloodline situation. Okay, so well, they should just call it that. It's just the way that this is laid out. Like someone. Okay, so I I'm, I have you, yeah. so I can do this but this on its own if some like if i looked at this it would still be confusing as fuck. yeah 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 man these titles need to change i'll put the graphic on the whatever um so but, like yeah. two it's like um oh Lori and him like there was a file loss we just found it it uh, turns out they're related um, yeah but that's i don't feel like that's that as interesting i feel like that's very soap opera-y wait it, i mean you don't think, well, to me, that's the first instinct that I got was like, oh, of course they are. Like, oh. Right. Like, you know, that one thing. Well, he like, killed his, I'm like, not... first sister. And then yeah, it's like, now, he, yeah, he needs to come after his other one. Yeah. And then they, like, blow up. So he's, like, going after her in the hospital or whatever. Uh, and he's, like. Do you want this in here? Cause I'm I, trying to, like, wrap wrap it all up. Like the connection. You no, know, you're getting. It's like I'm getting way like way too into the movie. Yeah, like I we're not talking. I think the to it was more like okay, I can see what's going on here. This is more for me. I mean, that could be its own like yeah. uh, conversation. But um, all I guess all I needed to know was why are there so many Halloween movies? What are what what's the difference in the timelines and which timeline we're on? Okay, so original timeline is getting rid of all of the his relatives hmm. and then the h2o path is instead of halloween 2 where it just like continues on from halloween mm-hmm. 1 right off the bat yeah in h2o it's like fast forward Lori faked her death and she's she went into hiding mm-hmm. and then it's like in the future michael found her like came came across her in a store or some shit and mm-hmm. so then it takes that path um, and then there was Halloween Resurrection, which is, like, directly after H2O, which a lot of people found was, like, unnecessary. Yeah. And then after that, that's that's the end of that story. Yeah. And then Rob Zombie made his own remake. Yeah. And a lot of people have beef with Rob Zombie. Um, but he, for what I understand, he was just doing his own thing, right? Yeah. Like, he was just having a good time with it. Like, he wasn't being serious. Did, so, you never watched any of these, like, maybe in passing or something? No. No, I have no idea. Okay. Because I think... And then the timeline that we're on is taken off from Halloween. 2018 yeah and then we don't know where that's actually going yet because we're just in this the, the right and so the tip far of the iceberg on that all one. we know is like which seems the most exciting i mean this is the one yeah that i, I, I thought this too. 2018 was i don't give really a shit good. about the family thing that's too soap opera for me 
the um h2o one that like if people have beef there's only two movies in that one and if people don't give a shit about that one then like why should i and also that's not the one that's happening right now and then the rob zombie thing i think would just be like nice to just However, have a, a park the, you know? i i think you would like the anthology one i think you would love the no i would love to watch the anthology i would like it's... that one that one just seems like for me because all this movie like that one sticks out just because it's like it's not this it's yeah. a different thing i think it just came out at the wrong time don't put the title but it's interesting that's connected you were saying or what you we said could watch him no i would like you to eventually watch the um og line oh yeah okay sure i mean i could um just to see what's up like the blood yeah i i enjoy it and like i'm not telling you everything that's going on so yeah. there are like things as that you go happening. yeah 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 okay. and like you got you got to respect the ogs like but for the sake of like a podcast obviously we're not going to sit gonna there and watch all ones. of these yeah. right 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 which so, i mean i still had a good time watching it but uh, i would be interested um, definitely watch them People know the movie, so I feel like it's okay for us to like jump around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone watched it. I think this is a, like we were saying; it's, it's a horror yeah. icon and shit. So currently, we're talking about the classic. Yes, the first one. And that's yeah. that's what I'm. I I like this. I like the first one. There were certain things that they did that I respect as a person who likes watching movies and seeing how they do things and different tactics and and uh, effects. I think they did a hell of a job making suspense not boring and then using space. And by that I mean when someone was getting chased down, the camera wasn't just set on them like tracking them all the time. It was kind of set somewhere and then you could see them search the room. You really got to like visualize the space. Mm-hmm. and how they're moving around in it because if you watch action movies it's a lot of just shaky following. yeah exactly running, but i yeah. like that there was some of that and then when they did move the camera it was very smooth there are mo- like in just like here like, this makes the most sense to start off just in the beginning right when yeah. he's a kid and he's like going up to the room it's con- it's following him like yeah there's a little cut but you could barely tell um and it's the- it feels like you're just like right you're there watching with him, him. Yeah, you're yeah. right there with him the whole time and then he's stabbing the weird eye slit camera thing i wouldn't have done that because it's but i understand why they did yeah. it you know it's fine mm-hmm. um but when i saw that i'm like that's very weird but i really like the way that they like would almost glide like they used at the time a new uh, form of camera technology and i think it was just beautifully done you were there and as a as like someone who's viewing it you're like oh fuck I'm I'm stuck here and I can't move and I have to watch this happen. You know, there's no cutaways or anything and I fuck with that so heavy. I think that's one of the things that like got me interested. Cuz when I was first going to watch it, I was like, "Oh, slasher films. I, a lot of people talk shit about these." But I that's that's what I love too is we haven't well, we did Child's Play, but I don't feel like that, that's That was its own vibe. It, it was okay, it might be, you're right. Can we It might be part of the the slasher, slasher thing, yeah, yeah but it was definitely the perspectives were different the and um, i think we're fixating more on like the doll aspect yeah, and things like that and it's just like one of my favorite movies it's fun. but also i think like we can go back to that a different way later mm-hmm. on but so like i technically this is like our first flash slasher so, yeah because i think when i think of slasher films i think of jason a person I, yeah, yeah i think of, of freddy krueger uh michael myers and, and um, you know that this kicked off Scream. Like this is like known for creating the modern slasher films. See, I'm I'm worried that I'm gonna hate Friday the Thirteenth. That's fine. I'm I'm worried about it because this I have seen one of them and I was really uninterested in it. We'll um, get there. But eventually. I feel like within the the right context and lens, yeah, maybe because I I'm not trying to. My goal with this is not to hate. I'm I want to grow an appreciation for a type of film that I never and like learn into. it's its place in pop culture exactly shit, so with yeah. this i like with the shining like that was also something that was like impressive yeah so far, all of these yeah. um are really cool i have a comparison that later on that i'll make i can see how this can like take over the slasher thing i make the thing for a couple of reasons one the idea of uh creating a like an unstoppable force i feel like that's can stick with people right the pure evil like you yeah, can't stop why is this. it coming it's, back right, that's exactly. what's scary mm-hmm. like, and then also the um the amount of money that this thing made for the budget it was three hundred thousand to make it and it grossed like um 40 million it's fucking wild huh yeah i think that was one of the reasons why the movie like the slasher thing probably like pot took off. off took off like it's it's a simple what they did was simple and effective, and I think that was like like paranormal activity, you know, like yeah, it, it, small, simple. It, that's what worked with it, right? Mm-hmm. Like simple, effective, 
it works it works it's 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 a beautiful like um i also love things. how they managed to be gory like without, without just, showing without saw. gore yeah, yeah right without, but it's I like it's nice. like this kitchen knife mm-hmm. like the way there were some the kills are very interesting i like the oh I, dude if the, you <laughs> it's so great dude, I, like, I want you to watch all of them because they they're so funny or you uh, gotta watch like kill count or something like okay yeah no they're they're great sorry you were saying um i like the reference to him being the boogeyman yeah like that's a constant thing that they kept putting in there and i assume because he's like the one that took the slasher films to like new heights and like started this whole um event mm-hmm. so is michael myers like the 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 father of slashers or some shit like modern modern slashers i would say because if you look up modern slasher not i wouldn't say modern because i'm not talking about like fear street type shit but like 80s that's where everything starts kicking off and even in the 80s halloween all of these halloween halloween movies that came out are like taking over so it's like while these new things are coming out there's still halloween movies being like yeah. kicked out you know every couple years and so people are still going back to those mm. and it's just like reinforcing the iconicness i don't know <laughs> cool. yeah i think every what they were able to do was really interesting and i like the idea that um it started off with the kill so you get that little taste of like oh fuck something happened yeah but after that like you get to actually know the characters and i'm glad that they didn't do the trope that i uh, suspected that they would do with like you're just killing off the bratty, like someone's fucking, so they die. Oh kind yeah, of yeah. Shit. And and I think that's what was like. I was looking, I was looking for that because I knew this was like part of the the iconography and what I think slashers are. And it and it didn't do that. Like you, it played around with um, him just watching and stalking and moving around and stuff. And he was out in the daylight, which I'm like, thank <laughs> you. Like things happening in the daytime make it feel real. Yeah. It, it makes you like un- feel like and almost like happen. scarier because yeah, that is scared. our real world like mm-hmm. shit is going on in the daylight and people aren't realizing because it's in plain sight exactly <laughs> you know that it took two weeks to write the script I, I it's very simple and but i like it like i like the characters i think if you're gonna have a simple script like this having fun characters it's it'll work it'll work 100 percent. so i'm like that's surprising a little bit but it's not like whoa, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just that's that's an interesting fact. Um, and it took twenty days to shoot. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I, a lot like of again, people, like they yeah, do, simple, but just like fuck, like that's it, cool. All, yeah, that's I awesome. Think it all, everything just happened in the right way, and everyone was just they were all young. Like in the documentary, they were saying that everyone was just like hu- hungry and eager to like show just themselves, kick off their careers, yeah. and they were like they had a good time like filming and stuff. And there's, I think it's f- funny because I saw an image. Of like um, Lori, Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis and Nick Castle, which was Michael Myers. Like, it's funny to see because in the movie they're like oppositions, right? Yeah. But in I in love picture, seeing those like shots. They're just having scenes. a good old time. Yeah. Like, it, it almost makes you feel like oh, enemies can like shake hands and, and you know break <laughs> bread and stuff. Yeah, but that was that was mostly the the ideas that I had for this this movie. I mean, I could go into like different little parts. Like, when I was watching it, there was these moments where I had to, like, put the context of the time in my in my head. I'm like, why is everyone white? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> why, like, why is uh, everyone just neighborly and talking to each other? You're like, oh, it's the 70s. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the 70s. And then um, w- when they were, like, drinking beer, like, the beer that they had was, um, like, the early version of, like, the pull-down tabs. Like, now uh-huh. we have, like, a regular Coke. Yeah. And it was a similar technology, but the slit was different. And I was, and I saw it, and it was like an old Budweiser can. And yeah. I was like looking at shit like that. So for me, it was like really cool. One thing that kind of made me unsettled, but then when I look, like in the documentary, I learned that they were like all of age. But I'm like, bro, this is like underage nudity. No. Like in the context of the thing, because they were in high school. <laughs> I mean, that's a, like every movie. That's why most of the time it's people older playing like high schoolers yeah but i felt uncomfortable watching it because i'm like <laughs> oh am i being a pedo right now no I'm watching <laughs> someone underage so then like that's when you have to be like <laughs> okay okay everything, everything <laughs> they left, everything absolutely left. would not and could not do that yeah i would hope so bro but you mean fuck dude are we like you see you hear okay. a lot yeah, yeah you know what i mean like you don't i don't know i i assume that everything would be cool but I just had to make make sure that everything was okay. Also, um, I was like, "Yo, Michael, dude, she's she, she's like naked, bro. Can you kill her when she has clothes on? 
what, where's the common decency here? Right. Everything felt earned. And I, uh, I love the like iconic hedge scene when one? it's like she sees him and then he's gone. And then, like, the friend uh, is like, there's nothing there. Yeah, is that dude? <laughs> or um, when she's, I'm sorry, the one where she's, like, upstairs and she looks out the window and it's, like, the, like, clothing on the line. Mm-hmm. There's been so many memes made about that. <laughs> like, they just make me so happy. Um, yeah, uh, storytelling-wise, it's, there's not a lot going on. But I don't think the story was the main pool for this. Yeah, I think it's it was a like, suspense. It, it's like a... What are you trying to say? Because for me, I think that the draw for this movie was the suspense. And, like, the idea that this could happen, like, it's relatable in that, like, either you have been a babysitter or you've been babysat, Mm -hmm. you know, and at some point in the dark. And I think that that relatability, that's the word, um, is what really, well, what I assume pushed it into the iconography chamber that it's in. Mm -hmm. So, Halloween uh, 2018. Oh, yeah. Now the comparison between 20. Well, okay. So my first time watching Halloween, I think, obviously, it's iconic. It's everywhere. Like, you know of it. You know, like, the little theme song and shit. I don't think I watched the original. And I was actually really confused, like, as you should be when you don't know shit about that as a kid, right? What what, what are you talking about? Like, like not knowing how many movies there are and all the, like, which ways they go. Okay. So I think my first time watching Halloween was the Rob Zombie, the first like Rob Zombie movie. And I thought that's what it was. And then, so then I started dating Zeke and like their family was really, they like have all kinds of collections of all the horror movies. And then I watched the OG one and I was like, what the fuck? And I remember we would talk about it. Like we would just talk about scary movies and I was like, oh yeah. And I would describe a scene. And I remember being so confused because Zeke would look at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? Cause he hadn't seen the Rob Zombie ones. So like I was referencing, oh yeah, I've seen Halloween, the first one. You know, and then I would like go on to describe stuff, and he's like, that's not the, "No, that's he's not like, you haven't one. seen it," and I'm like, "Yes, I have." Like, and so like we're getting into like these arguments, and I'm like, "No, I, I swear to God, like it, I remember looking at my TV guy, like it said Halloween," um, and then I watched that other one with him, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like this is, you, and you can tell it's like the OG because you know the the graphics are different, and like just, you know you can tell when it's like a movie from back then. Um, yeah, it has like this. All the art isn't super clean like it is nowadays. Yeah, it has like this grit to it. And then I think I probably watched like H two O, but again, like I didn't care to look into all that shit. I was just like, oh yeah, hollow another Halloween movie. Never made sense to me. Jamie Lee Curtis though, I fucking love her. In all of them? What, what, in, yeah, like, she's what? in like basically all of them except for the Rob Zombie ones. Oh really? Yeah. Holy even shit, even bro. in the... that's just her role. That's... Yeah. I didn't it, even. No, that's wild. all the like different. Why takes... does no one talk about this? Yeah, everyone talks about. Well, I mean, all the like oh, horror they? fans like oh, stand okay. the fuck out of Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay, yeah, I didn't know, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, that's she's iconic, and then she goes on to like give birth to a rock star and like. Sorry. Like actually? <laughs> Freaky Friday. No. <laughs> oh. I just love her. In dude, Freaky what Friday. If, <laughs> dude, I bet someone like the fucking what's that one dude that does like theories about game theory or whatever the fuck like that's the kind of shit he would pull you know what if Connects Jamie Lee it. Curtis you know <laughs> she was always a D. she went on to become wrestler but yeah know? even in um like the anthology film they have her do like a voice like she's not I don't think she's in it I don't think it shows her oh, face like- but like she's an announcer she like announces a curfew and then I think she's like a uh, on the radio so it's just I-, I love that they kept her through all these different mm-hmm. yeah and then uh, takes us into 2018. She was a fucking badass grandma. It was very, <laughs> it, for me, it was such a different feel to it. Like I, I understand it's like a different. It's, it's, it's like a re, um, integration. The start of a new. Yeah, like it's like the new exactly. Story. Like it's a whole different um, vibe and whatnot. But it, it feels. It didn't feel like it was a sequel to it. I de- like when, when I was watching it. With the knowledge that it, there were something, there was something in between. Yeah, it, it feels like that. It doesn't coming because I only watched two, right? I watched these yeah. two movies. I it definitely made me feel like I was. You're missing, missing something. something. Like there's some bigger history here. Is and that I don't why know you? That, were, I don't know if it was just me because I knew that information. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that why you were like kind of questioning me? Like, what is what is this? And I'm like trying to explain to you. I'm like, it'll make sense. Like, I yeah, promise. That's 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 part of what it was. Um. Because I think I I wish I would have earned a little bit more so I could have understood more of the gravity Mm -hmm. of the situation. Yeah, but you can see why I didn't want to take you on this like roller roller coaster. coaster. Yeah, (laughs) 
so I think it's gonna be an, it's gonna be an interesting like transition to see the next ones yeah happening. But I, I liked it. I, I enjoyed it. It just this the first one felt like a scary movie. The twenty eighteen one felt like a redemption arc or something. Yeah, it it felt like it was more of an action movie than a horror film to me. If I'm comparing one to the other, like there was a lot of dialogue and exposition to uh, give. Uh, you know some uh an idea yeah Yeah. as a viewer or someone who hasn't watched it because they're so far apart yeah but at the same time because they did that and i don't much bashing them because they did it i'm saying that i wish i had a better grasp of these two people than i do Mm -hmm. and i think maybe for you this felt more earned and like that thing that's why you're more excited like oh yeah man she fucking did it bro but for me it's like well i just saw you as a as a teenager that got scared and survived and lost her friends, now you're like paranoid and then you you know, and then this is your moment. It's hard to like how would you categorize when movies do this kind of okay, so like Marvel movies, right, with like Spider Man. What they do there where they kind of like just start new timelines and like different actors and shit. Well, what what would I describe that as? Yeah, like is there a name for yeah, that? They're just or? reboots, remakes. Just, yeah, that's okay. just the name of it. Yeah, so like I guess it's a remake. It's I don't know. It just all reminded me of so like when we went to go watch Spider Verse, and I remember we saw like we ran into somebody we met. We're like, oh, have you guys? And you know, like us having been there for like being a Marvel fan. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to like relate it to like being a horror fan. Like in this Mm -hmm. case, um, and like you stick, you understand like all these reboots. Like even though they're not connected in the same universe, it's like, but you see what they're doing, um, throughout each like new reboot that's going on Mm -hmm. um and then we were talking to someone we're like are you gonna watch like the new spider-verse or whatever like it's fucking awesome and they're like yeah i just i don't get it like it's a new guy and like this one's a cartoon like what the fuck and like they were just kind of like i don't want to watch that when you're watching Mm spider-verse it it shows you who miles morales is before he gets the powers the most confusing part is like oh fuck there's these other spider-men here but, yeah. but, I, but I don't think when you watch Spider-Verse that you would be confused. Yeah, no, but I mean... Because it even explains, like... The why. guy, what this like guy specifically said is he was, like... Um, he stopped watching Spider-Man in general because he didn't like that they kept changing the actor. And, like, he didn't understand that there's, like, reboots going on. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, he didn't have that, like, idea or, like, knew that that was a thing. I don't know what I was trying to segue into. I'm trying to, like, explain, like, I get that you feel lost. Yeah. But, like... Well, it's not... I don't... Not, not lost, lost, but, like... There, I'm losing the gravity of the situation. I don't okay. feel the weight that I feel like it you was. Should I should as, feel okay. as a viewer. It's not that I'm. Con- I get it. Like I, I'm, it's not confusing. Watching these two things, they're not confusing. Like it explains it. They do a good job. Right. And I was trying to relate that. Fuck, man. I wish I knew how much this meant to this person because of all the other trials and tribulations yeah, they had yeah. going back and forth. And they touched on the fact that she's been waiting for this she's day. Like trauma. And, and there's trauma. Yeah. And it like it did manifest inside her daughter. You know? Yeah, there's a lot of subreddits and groups that argue on like what you should watch before watching the new one. Yeah. But like realistically like now that i've explained it to you it makes sense yeah, right like why watch hard. all the others i wish but it was like, like a clear and cut answer and yeah and like a... fans will just like get into it and they're like but they make like little references and it's like but so that's not that, it doesn't matter I, th- I think you did a good job in recommending these two and i think um just coming from someone who does like watching movies uh i i think it's fine perfectly fine to like start this way and they did a really good job of not making me feel lost that's the thing that i was trying to mm-hmm. convey is that i i didn't feel lost i understood who this was they, they reference Dr. Loomis, which is the first doctor from mm-hmm. the movie. And uh, they they re- like they, they did this thing like Frank, which is like the name of the, the, the officer that went with Loomis to go find Michael yeah. Myers in the first movie. And then the way that they did it, I'm like, you're telling me something. And they clued me in, you know, like, yeah, it's Frank. Frank Hawkins. Like, you know, they didn't yeah, need to do yeah. that, but they said his full name. I'm like, oh, first full name. That means something. Looked it up. That's the same officer, you know. And then even in the movie, they said, you're the same officer from the last time. I'm excited. I feel like I'm roping you into this... Uh... Franchise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's fun. Story-wise, there's not a lot to... Um... Yeah, I'm excited that we started with this. I... It's cool. We, we, I think the way we did it this time has, has been fucking lit. Because we started with the Halloween movie, and then we actually started with Halloween. And then now, we're going to continue Halloween, and then we're going to do something that's in between that's going to be fun. Also in on the theme yeah of Halloween. yeah so so what i'm trying to do for anyone that's like actively watching horror movies or like knows horror movies mm-hmm. i'm trying to get christian up to 
I don't know. Spooky standards? Up to date. Yeah, well, I'm trying to prepare you for the new Scream movie coming in January. I'm worried that I'm not going to fuck with Scream. That's fine. But, like... If they don't do any... Cause here's the thing. You, okay, you don't have to like... Um, okay, X out the fact that there's a new Scream movie coming up. Okay. But what I'm trying to do is lead you to my favorite slasher franchise. Which is Scream? Which is Scream. L- yeah. Um, but, but I can't... I just feel like... It wouldn't do it justice if you didn't know, like, slasher culture. Mm-hmm. And, like, you have to... Like, this one, right? Mm-hmm. Because it yeah. kicks off modern, like I mean, 80s slasher films. Yeah. And then, like, Friday the 13th. Is it, isn't this, like, like, the peak of slasher films? Right, like right. 80s? And I'm trying to get you, like, through them all yeah. so we can get to Scream. And I would like to talk about Scream. We don't have to... I mean, you don't have to watch... I'm definitely going to go watch the new one. But, like, <laughs> you don't have to do that. What the fuck ever. Yeah. Um, but I would like to talk about it when the time comes to be on screen by then so that's what i'm trying to like do i have to watch all the scream scrimes it would be cool you don't have to i think this is kind of the general gist that humans have how much better can the other ones get you know like it's not it's not going to be a constant incline of progress success and enjoyment I feel Man. like it's gonna be like a waveform. I mean, like I it's said, be like, it's my favorite. Forever. So I'm obviously. I biased. thought Chucky was your favorite. Favorite slasher film. You, you Chucky's a slasher. You you, you said right. it earlier. I did. I know I did, but I also said that it's like, yes, he's a, considered a slasher film, but I think it's he's his own like box. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, no. I'm just I'm just excited. I know I'm thinking about screaming. I'm getting like happy. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry we didn't, uh, on this one, we weren't so uh, caught up on the plot necessarily. Because there's not it's a lot. It's hard to... I, I, we, can, we can say the plot in, like, so few words. Yeah, but then we're not... just, like, telling, like talking about exactly. everything that happened in the movie. And that's not fun. really... I'm glad we talked about both movies because yeah. I don't know if we could have kept going on just one. Have you ever seen, like, memes or anything about, like, the mask over time and how it changes? Does it really? Yeah. I thought it was just uh, the same kind of... No, it's the same, like, base. Uh (laughs) Someone made... I don't know if it was a joke or if it's a serious thing, but... Okay, so it's the same exact mask from 1 and 2, like the OG Halloween 1 and Halloween 2. Yeah, like the same prop? Yeah. And then somebody stole it. I don't know if, like, somebody on set or, like, they lost it. Uh So they had to make a new one in 4... And it looks really fucking stupid. Like something, I don't know, like the eyebrows look, I mean, you could probably there's look no, up. There's no eyebrows on the first one. Yeah, so there's eyebrows, I think, on the fourth, and, and that's like the same one for the, no, fourth one, Michael eyebrows. Um, Some people think he looks like Italian. Oh, Some people have like a. Michael Myers mask. Like mask timeline, probably look that up. Um, And then the fifth one, they had to make another one yet again, because, like, well, now it's a new actor and his head doesn't fit in the one from four that's funny and apparently like it's really difficult to get the like a similar mask like yeah. I'm, i don't know, I mean people argue about that too and how like it's not a big deal to get over it and other people oh, are just it. like how is it yeah. this hard to keep a there mask there is eyebrows on yeah yeah these. that's weird i like the no eyebrow thing and it just keeps yeah, it looks going so dumb. yeah there's a whole thing with what is this? <laughs> yeah no don't give them eyebrows what the creator wanted when he was making the the movie and what he chose for the mask. Pale and uh, male, like, slight. Well, he was basing features. it off of something. It was this this um, this um movie called Eyes Without a Face, I think it was. Eyes Without a Face. And then if you see that mask, very much see the similarities and the, how big the eyes are. Yeah. And that there's just a blank white expression. And, and I feel like they definitely came. could have done that uh, honestly the first one was like fantastic it. and then it just yeah. <laughs> it's, it, i like i like everything about the mask it feels very um generic but particular but it became this one person's staple mm-hmm. and that's an that's an interesting thing one of the um ideas that they were gonna have for a mask was a clown mask don't do that yeah don't i think that really would have it would have been so o- obvious and just so like let's just put a creepy thing i just don't think it would have been this no because the statement that it is today yes because the the idea of having just a plain expression it goes with who he is uh it doesn't matter i'm not saying anything i'm not i'm just doing my i'm just killing and i'm just being a force of nature and i'm nothing special i'm just like a force you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and that's what i like about the mask It, it says that it's it's there's nothing much going on and it's pale like death 
And I just feel like it's become something. They did a clown mask then. It would have just felt like he put just any old thing on. Yeah. But this one, it makes it seem like purposeful. Also, I like that he is the boogeyman. Mm-hmm. I like that he is an unstoppable force. Keeps coming back. It's not like, oh my God, some miracle spiritual force is like, you just can't kill this guy for whatever reason. And I like that they don't blame or explain that. I think it's beautiful. I think so some, far. Oh, dude. If, once they start explaining it, then we I'm don't, like, we don't know what's coming. I would rather believe that he came out of nothing and nowhere. He knows, knows nothing about his past and he just is a force. But when you start explaining shit like that, then I feel like it kind of just like, oh, so this is how you get this way. It's, it's not as scary. That's that's you. That's your yeah, it's me. Of course. All this is my opinion. Bro. Yeah. I'm just saying like, that's, that's one opinion. I don't know. I wasn't I trying what, to discredit you. It's a more interesting thing to me to like have my mind wander and mm-hmm. make, kind of make things up. That's what makes it more scary. And that's what makes it more scary. Yeah, that makes sense. The unknown. The, un- the unknown is the scariest thing. And, then, and that's why they use dark. You know what I mean? And then like when people try to pinpoint something now you're like well now i know yeah I mean, now we just, <laughs> okay for all i know it is like he's just a superhero i respect that things, so i like the movie fun movie the second one i'm gonna be honest not much of a fan um I, there were some things that i like some the throwbacks the way he killed a kid and he pinned someone against the wall again that's one of his staples choking people again one of his staples that weird subplot with the chick and then the boyfriend and him cheating and then uh the dad being like you know he's a troublemaker me and your daddy should do like roofies or whatever the fuck he said behind the peyote (laughs) yeah peyote yeah exactly i was like i don't know what this is doing i guess they were trying to set up our character but i think jamie lee curtis was uh, more fun to watch she tied everything in yeah, than, than uh, anyone should. else. Everyone else kind of seemed like a background, not that interesting, even though they were supposed to be a little more interesting. I, I'm I'm going to give a fuck if the dad well. dies and stuff. And then, oh, dude, I actually laughed when I was watching this movie. When the doctor put on the mask, and it was some chubby, oh, short guy yeah, with the mask yeah. with this iconic, some, like, six-foot something big-ass fucking dude would be wearing. And then uh, the other short, chubby doctor, and he's killing people, and this was like, I have to study him. <laughs> you know, like, he just... <laughs> I don't know. It didn't capture the same magic for me that the first one did. It was fun. Thank you for showing me the movie. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm just still like, I I have more to say. I just need time to collect my thoughts. Okay. But not like sit here time. Although, I'm glad you showed me these films. They weren't the same, but I'm not, I'm, I don't think the second one. Oh, the same, like the second feeling? wasn't the hype the first one had. It was good. It was it wasn't a bad time. See the way that I think about films is like or just anything in life. There's something like good and bad and stuff. And just because I'm pointing out the bad doesn't mean that it's not good, you know what I mean? And with with this film, it's just the 2018 Halloween, it wasn't what I expected. Didn't make it bad. It's just something that I noticed and it didn't feel like a horror film. It felt like a like for the fans and to start the the next generation type of situation. Yeah. And that's exactly what it was. It disappointed me a little bit, but the cool thing about this whole situation is that there's one fucking three, seven, six, 18 movies. You know, there's so many different. So although this was its own thing, it doesn't mean that like me as a, as a, a new fan of, cause I'm gonna call myself one, a new fan of this um, franchise <laughs> that I can't, I can't get, I'm going to be able to get what I want out of another one. <laughs> you know what I think it is? Uh. It's that like, when I was watching the 2018 one, my head is already like, I can't wait for the new one. This uh, is explaining. This is like leading me into the new I like- one. I think that's what I've been trying to say this whole time mm-hmm. versus like you're separating everything else and you're just like yeah, talking about I, the I'm film a, in yeah, itself. Exactly. And like every all of that is valid. And I think I'm just like, wait, just wait. <laughs> like I think <laughs> that's what it, it is. Like I'm getting sad, but like I... I don't I'm know. I just I just had that realization right now. I'm like, he's dissecting the film on its own and I need to chill the fuck out because I like love <laughs> it's like with trick or treat when you started like talking about trick or treat and I, I literally this is edited it was like edited out, but I literally made him pause because I was like, mm-hmm. Are you talking shit about this movie? No. Because I love this movie. No. I, I like <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I feel like if Sorry, I were just I, I think I had a moment. <laughs> like, no, I think what I bring to the table is this um <laughs> this like deconstructing of what the movie is and then like how it impacted me and stuff 
And then I think what you bring is like the the fun and like the positive and the culture. Yeah, and the, the culture excitement. And stuff. Yeah, and exactly. The... And I feel like between the two, then it's an interesting. It's an interesting. Yeah, dynamic. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know. I I think that happens. I think a once lot. once I go into the bad is when I start losing you because I'm not trying to like bash on anything. Yeah, no, because you, I, I get it. Because you're looking at these films, you're giving your opinion, yeah. and I'm just like this is so good like this is i love this like let me tell you how much i love this and then you're like but if i did that then there wouldn't be a part right right no 100 percent. we'd just be like this movie's the 100 percent best i love it (laughs) i'm just i'm just a baby like (laughs) no you're fine no because like we'll get better we're doing this constantly no you know what it is it's like I forget this is a podcast and because like we're just talking yeah. and like me and Christian go this is literally how we talk like for hours on end like we will yeah n- not sleep like yesterday we talked dude and I was like fuck that was an hour of talking like, yeah 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 and so like sometimes I forget there's a reason we're talking about these things the way we are yeah. and then like I think we're just having conversations and I'm like hey this is something I love <laughs> it's okay <laughs> yeah so sorry if this was a like, man all of them we're not perfect okay at this point i feel like this is just a branding thing you know we just we're all over the place and it's fine and people seem to enjoy it and i enjoy it too so if you enjoyed this video <laughs> smash the like no. <laughs> no but this is i feel like this is the end of the podcast i'm glad we ended on this note if you made it this far fantastic um how do, how do you want them to and the, um you want to comment anything if they've made it all the way through comment which michael myers mask you think is the sexiest which michael myers would you smash yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> or or allow your daughter to smash i don't know <laughs> well i'm trying to give like the, the which one <laughs> is is the most attractive or the least who who knows all, i don't think people can tell the difference in, ma- in what do mouse. you mean unless you're you, you yeah unless it's you <laughs> but if i ask an unregular joe Schmo off the street who's like just watching this because they you know whatever then i don't know if they could they might have to pull up a picture right Wait. look up the pictures <laughs> look up the pictures and let me know tell me if you like the eyebrows that's what i want to know do you like the eyebrows i don't want those eyebrows looking at me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> looking back at me <laughs> yeah how about can we do that one hey eyebrows or no eyebrows <laughs> just come out just say it. eyebrows or no eyebrows and if you say eyebrows i want to talk to you i want to <laughs> have a conversation yeah. <laughs> all right uh that's the end dun, 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 dun.